Hey guys, on today's Bleeding Edge, we're going to compare the older Mac Mini to the brand new model, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Bleeding Edge TV. I'm Andrew Edwards. This is the show that brings you tech news through the eyes of DearLive.com, and today we're just going to give you a quick comparison between the original Mac Mini, and this is basically the design they've been using for a few years now, versus the finely redesigned version. So let's just jump right in. So before we get into the comparison, we just want to thank our sponsor, GoToMeeting. If you have any need to display your computer screen on someone else's monitor, or vice versa, or have a virtual meeting without bringing people from all over the world, all over the country, all over the city even, GoToMeeting is your answer. You can get a 30-day free trial Try them out at GoToMeeting forward slash tech podcast to get yours. As you can see right here, the new model is a lot slimmer, almost half as slim, half as thick, and it has a larger footprint. So there you see, if I kind of line those up, the new one is larger around, but it's a lot slimmer. Um, it's all one piece. It's unibody, as Apple's been doing, so it's this, this whole one piece of aluminum here. There's a back panel and the underneath that can be opened up. We'll show you that in a minute. Versus the original one that had the polycarbonate on top. You have some aluminum around it. A piece here, a piece on the bottom. Um, interesting thing about the bottom is that on this, the old one, you had to get a little spatula, a really thin one, and kind of get in between the white there and kind of pry it open if you wanted to get inside. It's very difficult, very frustrating. But the new one, as you can see here, Mac Mini, you just put your fingers in these two slots, turn it. Let's use some thumbs. Those are stronger. Turn it, and it just pulls right off. You can get right at your RAM, do a RAM upgrade if you need to. Um, and if, if you're more adventurous, obviously, you can do a little more in there. But at least for RAM upgrades, it's very simple. Let's put that back on. Let's see if we can get that. There it is, locked. That's how easy that was. This would have taken about 10 times longer, if not more, to get in without breaking it. Um, around back, to show you the, the big addition is the HDMI port. So the new Mac Mini now is HDMI. Um, the power button is kind of off to the side now. Um, and there's one less USB port, but most people use one of those USBs at least if you had it as a media center to kind of get the to hook it up to the HDMI connector so by giving you the HDMI they've solved that and there's also an SD card slot which the older model doesn't have either so this is basically a little more versatile um, you have the super drive in front as always and the graphics processing is twice as fast in, in this model with the newer NVIDIA chip so this is available now from Apple. They're kind of phasing these out. So if you can, if you want one of these older ones, you should act quickly. Um, and the new model is actually it actually starts hundred dollars more. So this is six ninety nine. This one started at five ninety nine. But it's a little more power packed into here. So um, we're kind of interested to see where they're going with it, especially now with the HDMI cable, because the only reason they'd add one in there is to give you something to use as a media center. So we're kind of curious where they're going to go with this versus the Apple TV. Anyhow, we're going to do an Apple TV comparison against this one as well to give you a look at the differences there. That'll be our next video. So tune in next time for more tech news through the eyes of GearLive.com.